my dear kids, welcome back to another video with Miss Laura. How are you today? I feel so good and I hope you are good with your families at home too. Today, we have an special and interesting reading about an independent woman, okay? So this, this is an special reading about this independent woman and she made something, she did something special in those times that women didn't allow to do it, okay? So let's take a look about this wonderful woman. As you can see here, right? Let's take a look. So it is Pauline Johnson, the title for our reading, right? So let me tell you about, let me tell you a little more about Pauline Johnson, okay? So this amazing woman was a poet, writer, artist, performer, okay? So she was an amazing woman. And also she was one of the North Americans most notable entertainers, okay? On the late 19th century, okay? Also, as you can see here in the picture, right? Look at this, okay? Look here, okay? As you can see, this list as a person of national historic significance. And her childhood home, as you can see in the picture, is a national historic site. And it's also a museum, okay? So let's take a look and let's read a little more about this amazing woman, okay? So here we go. See, let me open here about this story. Here we have, as I told you, the title for today is about Pauline Johnson, okay? It says, Pauline Johnson was born on March 10, 1861, near Brantford, Ontario. The daughter of the Mohawk, no, the daughter of the Mohawk chief, George Johnson and an English woman named Emily Howells. Okay, so she was the daughter of George Johnson and Emily Howells. Okay, she became a much loved poet in the late 19 and the early 20th centuries, okay? Writing of both her Aboriginal and European roots. Because I, as I told you, she's a poet, a writer, so she has many abilities, okay? One of those poems is this one, as you can see, the corn husker, okay? The person who takes out all the corns, the corn husker, okay? It says, Hard by the Indian lodges where the bash breaks in a clear through ill-fashioned fears. She comes to labor when the first steel hash of autumn follows large and racing yields. Age in her fingers, hunger in her face, her shoulders stooped, no, stooped, with weight of war and years, but rich in tiny coloring of her race, she comes afield to strip the purple ears. And all her thoughts are with the days gone by, air minds injustice vanish from their lands. Her people that today unheeded and he did lie, like the death has the rustled through her hands. Now we have here a Canada and a crusty poem. Crown of her, crown of her, John Vancouver, crest of her, old Quebec. Atlantic and far Pacific, sweeping her, need to kill to death. Nor for her ice and arctics, self a rival's stealth. 
above her empire spending, below her nation's wealth. Door of main and markets bearing within her hall, appraised, appraised at the highest value, cargoes of grain and gold. So you see there is a acrostic poem about this one. And here we have the poem, no? This one of the poems of Pauline Johnson, okay? We have an activity here. It says, match the words with the meanings. Write the correct letters. For example, in number one, I have hashed, no? Hashed, hashed. For example, somebody's talking and you say, please, hashed. Okay, so it is like, what will be here? Ah, yes, it is a stillness of or silence. Okay, here we have. So hash will be letter E. Yields, no, yields. No, for example, when you are planting something, maybe a vegetable, a fruit, and you're going to, you're going to collect your yield, no, la cosecha, that's right. Okay, so this will be, which letter do you consider? Ah, maybe it could be clear eating in a forest. Mm, not really, right? It's going to be crops that are produced. Okay, here. D, clearing. Ah, it comes from the word clear, not the roof clear. Ah, means clearing is Clear area in a forest. Yes, that will be letter A. That's right. And heated, Miss, and heated. Okay, and heated will be like is this one in Spanish desatendida or desatendido, right? And heated. So it will be this three guarded. Yes, here, no? Disregarded. So this will be letter G. Mind. Okay. This will be power. Mind. Okay. H. Air. No air. Air is an older form of before. Some people say air. So that means before, but it is an older form. Okay. So this is letter B. Russell, 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 Russell. It makes sounds like leaves blow in the wind. Okay, that is the Russell, no? The sounds. Okay, ears, so simple. That is so difficult here, right? Heads of corns here. Okay, so we complete this part. Okay, we match the words with the meanings. Okay, here in letter B, we have another activity. It says, quote lines from Pauline Johnson's poems for the following. Okay, for example, in this poem, the corn husker. Okay, about first this poem, the corn husker. I underlined the, the lines here. You can see I underlined. So in this way, we can identify easily about the questions, okay? It says first, which lines tell you about the corn husker physical appearance? So in which lines we can see the physical appearance, okay, by reading. For example, I underlined here. It say, no, age in her fingers, age in her fingers. Hunger in her face, her shoulders stoop with way of work and years, but rich in tiny coloring of her race. So here is describing, right? Because on the hands, we can see that all the years passed and this person was working so hard. Hunger in her face. Because this person didn't have the opportunity, maybe, no? It was showing on the face the hunger, no? Because this person maybe didn't eat anything, right? Her shoulders stuff, no? With way of work and years. So many years passed, right? And her shoulders stuff because of the way 
of all those years that this person was working, okay? But rich in tiny, coloring of her race. So these are the three lines that show us, okay? The three lines that show us the physical appearance, okay? Age in her fingers, hunger in her face, her shoulders stuff with way of working gears, but rich in tiny, coloring of her race. B, which lines tell you that the corn huskers people had been forced out, forced out of their land and that they are now dead? Okay, so let's see. It's, it is here. Air mines ingested, vanished from their lands, her people that today and here they lie and heated line. So you see those are the lines, okay, that says, right, that the corn huskers people have been forced out of their land, okay, and that they are now there, okay? Now about the acrostic, acrostic poem, it say, no, in Canada, the acrostic poem, which lines tells of Canada's natural resources? Ah, Miss here, as you can see, right? Appraised at highest value, cargoes of grain and gold. So this is the natural resources, that's right, it say here. Which line reflects Canada's model? From sea to sea, okay, from sea to see, very simple, so I can identify easily here. Atlantic and Far Pacific sweeping her knee, kill to death, okay? So that is the line that reflects about from sea to sea, okay? So we completed the activity, we completed this activity about the poem of Pauline Johnson, you know, this independent woman did something amazing, okay? She did something revolutionary because women in those times didn't allow to write or not to create poems or something like that, okay? So I hope you like, I hope you like this activity. And that's all. We complete our activity for today. I hope you like it. See you in the next videos. Goodbye. <music>